What are the cheapest items you can buy in Pokemon? Hi, I'm Mike from Poketips, and about a month ago I made two videos showing off the most expensive items you can buy in all of the Pokemon games. In the comments, I made a joke about making a cheapest items video, and a lot of you guys seemed to like it, so without further ado, let's take a look at all of the games again and find the cheapest items you can buy. And quick note, I won't be counting any of the items given to you for free, or any of the items you could just pick up on the ground. While free would technically be the cheapest, if I listed every item you could find in Pokemon in one video, not only would that be extremely boring, but it would probably take me 10 years to make. With that out of the way, let's start things off with the classic Pokemon games, Red and Blue. Pokemon Red and Blue were the games that started it all, and introduced a lot of items that remained cheap throughout all of the Pokemon games. For a few honorable mentions, we have the Potion, which restores your Pokemon's HP by 20 points, which you could buy for 300 Poke Dollars, and the regular Pokeball, which you could buy for a measly 200 Poke Dollars. But if you're trying to find the cheapest item in the whole entire game, look no further than the Antidote, which you can buy at most Pokemarts for 100 Poke Dollars. For those of you that don't know, the Antidote is an item that exclusively heals the Poison status, which is pretty prominent early in the game with Viridian Forest. Since you'll mainly be using this item early on in the game, it makes sense that it's so cheap. Also, while this isn't the cheapest thing you could buy in the game, I do want to mention the Magikarp you could buy near Mount Moon. Only 500 Poke Dollars to own a Pokemon that evolves into one of the strongest in the whole game? Yes, please. Moving on to the Generation 2 games, you're probably wondering how in the world can these games top that 100 Poke Dollar antidote from Red and Blue? Surely it can't be done, right? Well, my friends, it definitely can be. The Generation 2 games introduced the ability for you to give your Pokémon items to hold on to. Some of these items, like the Lucky Egg and Quick Claw, give you benefits in battle, while others, like Mail, are just for fun. And speaking of Mail, if you check most Pokémarts in the game, like the one in Azalea Town, you'll be able to find Mail for sale for only 50 Poké Dollars. In these games, there's five different types of mail that you could purchase. First, we have the flower mail, which has a nice flower and oddish pattern. Next is the light blue mail, which has a silhouette of a Dratini on it. The lovely mail, which has a silhouette of a Poliwag. The surf mail, which has a silhouette of a Lapras. And finally, the portrait mail, which will have a portrait of whatever Pokémon you make hold it. There's also five more different types of mail hidden away in the game's code, but you can't get them anymore because they were only from events back in the day. The main purpose of this mail is to allow you to send a special little message to your friend when you trade them a Pokémon. In these games, you could write anything you want on the mail, so you could tell them how much you love them or what a poopy head they are. The only annoying thing about mail is once you give it to a Pokémon, you can't deposit it into a PC unless you take the mail back away from it. Fun fact! On the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console releases of Gold, Silver, and Crystal, if you try to trade a Pokémon holding mail, a special message pops up. And because you could write literally anything you want on these pieces of mail, it asks you not to send inappropriate content. Moving on to the third generation games, you're still not going to find anything cheaper than the 50 Poké Dollar Mail. In these games, they cut out all the old mail from Pokémon Gold and Silver, and instead replaced them with nine different brand new types of mail. The Glitter Mail, which shows a Pikachu, the Harbor Mail with a Wingle, the Mech Mail with a Magnemite, the Orange Mail with a Zigzagoon, the Shadow Mail with a Duskull, Tropic Mail with a Blossom, Wave Mail with a Whalmer, Wood Mail with a Slackoth, and Bead Mail, which shows your current Pokémon. Aside from replacing all the mail, there was also one more huge change made to mail in this generation. You can't type in whatever you want anymore, and you'll have to choose from pre-made words. Moving on to the fourth generation games, for an honorable mention, I'm gonna mention the item Sweet Honey. In Floroma Meadow, you could buy it for only 100 Poké Dollars, put it on a tree, and encounter a Pokémon. But if we're looking for the cheapest item in the majority of the games, once again, it's going to be different types of mail. Now, there's 10 different types of mail you could buy in-game, and wait a second, is that Pokémon Platinum over there? What are they selling in the basement of that department store? Finally, in Pokémon Platinum, there's an item which you could buy that's cheaper than mail. 
In the basement of the Veilstone department store, there's a cashier that'll sell you five different types of berries for only 20 Poké Dollars each. These berries are the Figgy Berry, the Weeky Berry, the Mago Berry, the Apapa Berry, and the Aguave Berry? I hope I said those names right. And in Pokémon Platinum, all of these berries have a very similar effect, where they'll restore one-eighth of your health after it drops to half or below, and depending on the nature of your Pokémon and which berry you give it, it might get confused after healing its health. It's not the best berry for battling purposes, but I'm so happy there's something finally cheaper than mail. Moving on to Generation 5, I want to give an honorable mention to the Castellia Cone, which you could buy for only 100 Poké Dollars. However, it's surprisingly tricky to get one. To purchase a Castellia Cone, first you need to be playing your game on a Tuesday. Next, the season of the game that you're playing needs to be either Spring, Summer, or Autumn. Only then, when those conditions are met, can you get in line and finally try to purchase a Castellia Cone. If you come on any other day of the week, it's too busy to buy one, and if you come in the winter, the shop is closed. But for the overall cheapest item in the game, once again, we are back to mail. In the Generation 5 games, there are 12 different types of mail that you could buy, and now writing a letter is more restricted than ever. In these games, with mail, you select from a few pre-made sentences, and there are a few slots left over for you to fill out and personalize. Normally, like in all the other games, buying mail will cost you 50 Poké Dollars each. However, Black and White introduced a way that we could get mail even cheaper. By playing in the Entralink, that big area in the middle of the Unova region, going to other people's worlds and completing missions, you can unlock something called Pass Powers. These pass powers can provide a lot of different bonuses, however the one we're looking at here is called the Bargain Power. By using the highest level Bargain Power, Bargain Power Level 3, you get yourself a 50% discount at Pokemarts, which means those 50 Pokedollar males are now only 25 Pokedollars each. With Generation 6, things start to get a little weird. First, there's no more mail. And because of that, lots of other items that only cost 100 Poké Dollars have chances at being number one again. First, I'm going to give an honorable mention to the Lumio Skelet. The Lumio Skelet is the specialty item of Lumio City, and it kind of looks like a pancake. This item can normally be purchased in Lumio City for 100 Poké Dollars and will heal all the status conditions of your Pokémon. However, if you have at least 50 style points in Lumio City, you'll actually be able to bring this down to only 80 Poké Dollars, making it a very cheap item. And now for the cheapest item in the Generation 6 games, that is once again going to be the Antidote. Normally you could purchase the Antidote for 100 Poké Dollars just like back in Generation 1, however, just like in Generation 5, the Generation 6 games have something that allows you to get discounts at Pokémarts as well, called O-Powers. By using the level 3, S, or Max Bargain O power, you'll be able to bring this antidote down to 50 Poké Dollars, making it the cheapest item in these games. Moving on to Generation 7, it's a little weird to get the cheapest items possible. First off, you'll have to be playing Pokémon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. The reason behind this is because Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon introduced the Rotom Lottery and Roto Powers, which are basically the same thing as Pass Powers and O Powers from the previous generations. With that being said, you might think the Antidote is once again the cheapest item. And if you think that, well, you're wrong. In the Generation 7 games, for some reason they raised the price of Antidote up to 200 Poké Dollars. However, Awakenings and Ice Heals were both changed to only cost 100 Poké Dollars each. Another item called the Poké Toy was also reduced in price, bringing it down to 100 Poké Dollars as well. And for those of you that don't know what the Poké Toy does, it basically allows you to run away from a wild Pokémon battle. If you use the Roto Bargain Power and buy any one of these three items, any of them will cost you 50 Poké Dollars each, making them the cheapest items you could buy in these games. But we're not done with Generation 7 games yet, and this time, you could do it in all of them. While you're playing the story mode of Pokémon Sun and Moon or the Ultra games and you go to Po-Town, if you enter the Pokémon Center there, two Team Skull Grunts are inside waiting for you. If you want to heal up your Pokémon, don't worry, Team Skull's got your back. 
but they're gonna charge you 10 poke dollars. Since you're buying this service from them, that technically makes this the cheapest thing you could buy in any Pokemon game. And finally, last but not least, we have Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. In these games, the cheapest thing you could buy is in the Celadon City department store on the fourth floor. Here, you'll see a lady with a table full of diglets. The only thing she sells is a diglet cap, which you can buy for 50 poke dollars and then put on your partner Pikachu or Eevee. And with that, my friends, you now know the cheapest items you can buy in every Pokemon game and every Pokemon generation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because these types of videos take a long time to make, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see what the most expensive items in the games are, click the video on the screen right now or check the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.